So this is on my alt because this is probably where most of you are going to be, where you're not all the way up to 99. But right now you can see that it's up to 70% accuracy, and that gives me 30. Essentially, if you take that percentage, thousand, half of that, that's what you get. No, that's not right either. Doesn't matter. Either way, so I just did this mission. It's worth uh, 35,000. If you get it all the way up to 99%, then you're going to win, or you're going to get 99,000. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. You're going to get 99,000. So uh, we'll go through just a couple examples of these, and I'll show you some simple tricks to make this just quick and easy. So while you're jumping, you can just do it. Next one. All right, this is an example of one of the ones that is going to affect your overall accuracy. So you want to do decent at it. Um, you can tell because it's usually got a big egg-shaped uh, look there. Actually, I can show you. Yeah, so if we look at some of the ones that I've done in the past, see there's that big egg-shaped thing there. And all of those have these uh, you know, secondary uh, polygons after you draw yours and submit it that will say hey we think this is what it should be and if you match it then your accuracy is going to go up that's going to be what affects this accuracy which is going to be what affects your payout so the problem is with some of these they can be really confusing so it looks like this would normally extend somewhere around in there you know you can see kind of uh, you can see it kind of going around there Sometimes they have this going all the way up to just where it starts to get unclustered at the bottom there, even though you can clearly see that there is all of this space below that probably belongs to this overall orb. Honestly, you just kind of have to guess at it. Um, so, what I'm, but the, the, one of the tricks here, Kelly, I just wanted to leave these. There we go. One of the tricks is that you don't need to make a pretty little circle around it. Your accuracy has nothing to do, and again, we can go back to these. I mean, 91, 99% accuracy. You can see clearly here, my boxes have nothing to do with this polygon. The only thing that counts, the only thing that matters, is if you correctly separate out these two cells, or the two things that it thinks is a cell. And actually, we'll look at a couple of these, for examples. So this one, the whole glob, it thought it was. Uh, this one, um, you can see, it, again, it kind of extends down, but it only considers right up here as being part of this top cell. Let me see if I can get one of the ones that's a little closer. Uh, no, actually, almost all these look good. I've just had a, a lot of them that look kind of where it, it, it separates more close to the top. This one's, you know, a little bit closer to the top. Let's see what this one ends up being. So I think it's going to actually go a little bit lower, and I'm just going to draw my basic box around here. And then finish it out there. Yeah, so I was wrong. It went way lower here. I only got 76% accuracy, but that's still higher than 70 so it's going to give me a little more. Yeah, and there's my, my ISK. So it's 56K, not the 35. Super confused. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is going to be another one of those that counts towards this overall accuracy. And so right now we're at 70.6%. Let's take a look. And I'm just going to be a little bit liberal with this. I'm not trying to match it too much to where it's at. Um, and I hate that. Sometimes you get all gummied up sometimes it gets if it looks like that and it's red just grab one of these corners and and drag it out there and you should be good okay there you go 99 percent so literally right on the separation there and again it doesn't even matter that there's all this space in between there it just wants you to separate out the two and you can see just a tiny little bit poking under here and that's why it's not 100 percent another one that's gonna oh we didn't check so before we were 70.6 now we're at 71.8 so we should see that, uh, what was it, like 55,000 some odd go up. But this is going to be another one that counts towards my overall accuracy. Now this one I think is going to be a little bit closer to um, where the nucleus is, even though there's some of that trailing stuff under it. Watch me be wrong. Even though I would consider this to be part of this, I'm thinking that it's going to not. Because whoever made these, I don't didn't really take a look at them. Okay, another issue here. So it says, you know, I'm over. Just grab this uh, little axie and go. Yep. So here's, here's actually a perfect example. I said, you know, I'm going to give it a little bit more space and come down here, even though I thought it was going to be down here. But they're like, no, it's literally right under there. And you can see all this cluster here. That's clearly part of the cell. But whoever did this whenever, it's like, nah, I'm going to do it my way. But anyway, we can see we've gone up from 71 point something to 72.8 already. We're already making 58,000. And we just go along here. Uh, okay, so this is one. It doesn't have that little egg nucleus. Literally doesn't matter. Boom, 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 boom. Accuracy, 72.8 is not going to change. Didn't change at all. Didn't care. 
Um, another one. Dink, dink, dink. Actually, I'm going to go super fast so we can see what one of the lockout messages look like. Oh, this is one that's going to count, but I'm just still going to go fast. Don't care. Sometimes it's perfect. Look at that. Another one that does not count. See, there's no accuracy over there. It just goes. We're, um, it went up to 73.9 from the previous one. i have still got to try to go faster. Now, this one, you can actually see some separation of cells. And if I wasn't going faster, I'd try to be a little bit more on target. It does not matter. Okay, so here we go. Slow down. We cannot produce more than five submissions in a minute. So what you can do, is, and if you look at the total amount of ISK you can make, 99,000 for each submission, whether it's right or wrong. If you can do five of those per minute, then, you know, you got five... 500,000 per minute, half a million ISK per minute while you're just traveling through space and, and, and literally just, you know, going from one place to another. Um, okay, so we gave it a little bit of time to cool down. We can jump back into it. It should kick me out here before too long because this is a new account, so it's not going to let me go on forever. My main account, it seems to just let me go for literally ever. All right, so I'm going to go a little bit slower. Here's, okay. This is where I'm actually going to try to help them a little bit because the whole point of this is try to figure out is have humans look at what the separation of the two cells is. Now, you can go through this and not care at all and just get your ISK and move on with your day. But every now and then I do try to, you know, somewhat take a look at them and say, hey, here's what I as a human think that is a separation of cells. Now, once again, I'm not going to go and make happy, happy little polygons around it. I'm just going to separate it. Might, you know, short up a bit there. Aha, so with my alt account, I've now done more, uh, the max account that I can do within this 24 uh, hour period. This is not actually accurate because I got this lockout at 11 o'clock last night and it's lunchtime, so noon here. Um, and it told me 23 hours back then. So maybe it's gonna let me back in, I don't know. Uh, I got past this limit a lot quicker on my main account, but my main account's Omega. So I'm wondering if that has an effect on how many things it will let you process in a day. Um, this one does not seem to have allowed me to increase the number of things processed per day at all. So it, maybe there is just a flat lockout on the alpha. I haven't actually counted to see what it is. But um, yeah, anyway, I hope it helps. And if you have any questions about it, obviously you can ask me. It's really freaking simple once you get in the groove. And it's just something when you're doing your jumps, you're like, okay, do my next jump. Dink, 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 dink. Dink, 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 dink. Slow down, don't go too fast. There's my next jump. Dink, 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 dink. Easy money. Easy money. All right, we'll see you all.